What's up everybody? Today is just a continuation on a previous video I did with i5 Mac Mini benchmarks. I've upgraded this system from 8 gigs of RAM to 32 gigs of RAM, so now we have to rerun the benchmarks to see if there are any changes. I performed the upgrade myself using the toolkit from iFixit that you see here. Now this kit is a little overkill for just this kind of upgrade project and much smaller kits would do, but I'm sure that the many parts of this kit will come in use in the future for me. Here's the packaging for the RAM that I use. Sorry that I took this video after I already upgraded the RAM, so what you see there is the 4 gig sticks that came with a Mac Mini, but this kit is for the 32 gigs of RAM that is sold and branded by OWC. I'll leave links in the description to the toolkit and the RAM just in case any of you are interested. Really quickly, here's a shot of the new memory configuration as shown by the system. As you can see, we're at 32 gigs of RAM by way of two 16 gig DIMMs. I'm going to be following the same order as my other video, so first up is Cinebench. I don't suppose that you all want to see the whole benchmark run, so I'll go ahead and skip to the results. For this run, the system scored 2302, which is a little more than the 2259 from last time. This difference is minimal though, and is probably due to other temperature related factors or background system processes that are out of my control. Basically, I'm going to call the performance same as before. Next is the Unigen Heaven benchmark. Again, because this is using an integrated GPU, which doesn't have much power compared to a discrete GPU, I ran the benchmark on the basic preset to give the system a fighting chance. Here we see a big difference as the average FPS was 27 versus the 20.9 FPS I got with only 8 gigs of RAM. Next we have the Unigen Valley benchmark, which is really just for fun since all we're going to see is a difference in results that are similar to the Heaven benchmark. We see here that we have an average FPS of 24.9 versus 19.3 which I got on the system with only 8 gigs of RAM. Next up is a Bruce X benchmark. I'll save you some time and just tell you what the results were. For H.264 the export completed in 61 seconds versus the 65 seconds from last time. For the ProRes export it took 55 seconds versus 57 seconds on the system with 8 gigs of RAM. While these are only small differences in this situation, the difference should increase and become more obvious when exporting longer projects. Last up is a Blackmagic speed test and you can see the results here. While the numbers are a little better this time than in the last video, it's not by much and the difference is probably not attributed to the change in the amount of system RAM. All you need to know here is that the read and write speeds are still blazing fast. So that's all for the benchmarks for me. We saw a noticeable increase in performance where the GPU is being utilized. This is because of the way the integrated GPU is sharing its video RAM with the system RAM. More total RAM gives more room for the GPU to work with this RAM unobstructed. Or at least that's how I believe it works. In any case, the results speak for themselves. Hopefully this information will help you to make your decision on whether or not to get this Mac Mini and or whether or not to upgrade the RAM. Thanks to everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs>